everybody. We need some soup to make our body kind of warm, isn't it? So I'm going to show you how to make doenjangku. Doenjang. Doenjang is fermented soybean paste. There are a lot of different kinds of doenjangku in Korean cuisine. If you use napa cabbage and cabbage doenjangku. If you use just bok choy tofu, bok choy tofu doenjangku. All are on my website. This is Korean's staple food. Whenever I have this with my rice, it makes me feel so comfortable. Today, I'm going to show you how to make 시금치 조개 된장국. 시금치 is spinach, 조개 is clams. This is all the time we Koreans favorite. But clam should be really, really fresh clam. It should be alive. That's most important. I asked my fishmonger, I said, oh, tomorrow I'm going to use. So how can I keep this very you know, fresh? And then he said, this method. So come here. So this is just all through the night. I put it in my refrigerator. This is my the ice cubes. And this is paper towel. I put some water. And then count neck clams. Very small and a little bit greenish. This is one pound. Oh, look at that. Did you see it? <laughs> so now these guys are still really, really alive. I'm making the salty water. Four cups of cold water and one tablespoon salt. So let's make salty water. Transfer this to my salty water. This guy is breathing. Look at that. I make the kind of, you know, atmosphere is like an ocean. So they think that, you know, okay, I can comfortably breathe in here. And also, if this is too bright, you know, just in case, they are not going to spit out. So I use a kitchen towel. And then, like this. So comfortably spit out. <laughs> you can do this couple of hours. So one pound is already, I did it because to film this. Okay, let me see. What do they look like? Here you go. Look at that. A lot of dirt is on the bottom. And we gotta wash this again. One pound of clams we are going to use. So now clean. Probably you guys are going to be wondering, Mangchi, what are you going to do with this? Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry much. I will just use later. I can add to doenjang jjigae any place, even spaghetti, I can add this. I can hear this, these guys are breathing sound, pew, pew, sound. And then I will bring my spinach. You know, this shigumchi uh, doenjang you have to find the bunch spinach. Like, uh, look at this. You know, these leaves should be long and also very large and sturdy. And also this uh, always like a root. That root is a kind of a red color is delicious, but it doesn't have to be red. And kind of a large size. This is bunch spinach. We need this to make a shikimchi doenjang I like to eat this part too. So I just split this like this. And this is clean. When you see that kind of yellowish leaf and just take it out. This is too long for this soup. And then I will just cut using your hands like this. So all I done like that. This is 10 ounce. Let's wash. I'll wash three times. So 
Brooklyn. Wow, my hands are so cold because these days water is so cold. Now, clams are ready, my spinach is ready, and then action! <laughs> okay, I will just uh, heat up. I'll bring my beef. That's a four ounce. And cut small pieces. So this is four ounce beef brisket and four garlic cloves. My pan is heated. While my pan is heated, we're done like this. One teaspoon sesame oil. And beef. Garlic. Stir this one or two minutes until this beef is no longer pink. Smells already so delicious. <laughs> Today is a Saturday. I didn't eat breakfast. So I'm so hungry right now. Okay, I will add water, seven cups of water. And cover this. I'm going to cook this for 25 minutes so that beef will get tender and the broth is going to be so delicious. Five minutes passed. Let's see. And this is my mesh strainer and ginger. Ginger, quarter cup. And gochujang, around one tablespoon. And just stir this in the strainer. Break it up so this is uh, all chunks are going to be to remain in here. So you can have a clear soup, not chunky. That's my recipe from cookbook. My first cookbook, Real Korean Cooking, this is one of the recipe. And then now, doenjang, gochujang, and also nice uh, beef stock here. Yummy. Next ingredients, spinach and clams. Okay, spinach. Look a lot. But all these guys are going to shrink. It's okay. Add. And cover this. This is green chili pepper and red chili pepper. Green chili pepper will give it a nice, nice flavor. But if you don't like to eat any spicy food, just forget about that. Okay, I will just slice this. This green chili pepper is a serrano, serrano pepper. Pepper inside is some brown seeds. I don't want to use. These clams are all open. Look at this, this spinach, all vitamins, all everything is coming into this broth. Like this. So three more minutes and then done. I made multigrain rice and big bowl of soup, fresh cucumber I cut off and samjang. And this is chive pancake and this is my perilla leaf kimchi. 
and this is mushroom kind of stir fried sauteed mushrooms and vegetables and this is my fermented kimchi Mmm, so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, wow. The clams. Mmm, -hmm. very sweet and a little chewy. Mm -hmm. And let me taste my rice too. Cheers, everybody. Let's have some spinach soup. Mm. The broth is very delicious and very clammy. It's a different from anchovy kelp star. And also the very earthy and little spicy, savory. And spinach is very, very soft and the ch with the chewy clams, perfect. Today we made Shigumchi Joge Duenjangko in English. Soybean paste soup with clams and spinach. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.